Hello, today I want to talk about the interactions between citizen science and the ecosystem around Wikipedia. This talk has been given at the XR 2022 conference and I had uh, done a pre-recording but somehow the video didn't work and the session itself also wasn't video recorded so this is basically just to document um, what I would have said and what I essentially did say at the conference. Uh, the slides are available via this Zenodo DOI. Now let's jump in. The structure of the presentation is as follows. First I'll give an overview of Wikimedia projects. Then I will look into interactions between citizen science and Wikimedia projects. And then specifically look at how citizen science matters are covered by Wikimedia projects. And last but not least, uh, I will take a number of perspectives on citizen science that are inspired by the interactions with Wikimedia projects. First, an overview of the Wikimedia projects. So, you are probably familiar with Wikipedia, which is uh, here, and um, the others are all kind of grown around Wikipedia and um, they are roughly sorted by information channel so wikipedia is the encyclopedia wiki news is for news wiki quote is for quotes wiki source is an archive wiki species is for species and so on um, i have given a very brief description for all of them here in clockwise order so for instance wikimania is the annual gathering wikibooks is for books and so on um, in the center here is uh, something labeled Wikimedia, which is actually a thing that doesn't exist as such. It, it has multiple meanings that are slightly different. So one of those meanings is the Wikimedia Foundation, which owns the trademarks and runs the servers, essentially. Then uh, another meaning is the Wikimedia Affiliates. So there are Wikimedia chapters and user groups and, and other formations uh, that exist uh, to facilitate collaboration and also to facilitate interaction between the Wikimedia um, projects and the outside world. And last but not least, um, most importantly, actually, the uh, term Wikimedia refers to the community of contributors because all of these projects, they are driven by volunteer contributions, they are driven by collaboration, they're driven by people wanting to learn and wanting to share what they learned. Um, besides being sorted by information channel, uh, most of those projects are also kind of sorted by language. So Wikipedia exists in 329 languages, uh, Wikibooks in a 120 and so on. Uh, some of those wikis here, they are purposefully um, multilingual. So uh, while Wikipedia would spread itself over 329 different wikis, Wikimedia Commons um, and Wikidata and also Meta, they are essentially welcoming contributions in any language um, and so um, this well these few sites already provide um, testing grounds for interactions of people using multiple languages the meta wiki here is maybe interesting because it um, allows to coordinate things that concern more than one of those wikis and altogether that is a group of about 1000 wikis um, f most interesting for citizen science are perhaps Wikimedia Commons for imaging um, and Wikidata, uh, but also Wikispecies because uh, that is the one site amongst them that is really dedicated uh, to a particular field of research. Everything else is essentially cross-disciplinary. Yeah, so some of the common themes of Wikimedia projects. First, um, they closely integrate their content, their infrastructure, and their communities. And all of that is open, so the content is public, is free to read, and is free to reuse. The infrastructure is built on free and open source software. And uh, the communities are part of an open, a broader open movement, uh, which is sketched here um, with that figure. Um, so open research, open data, open education, open hardware, open standards, all of this uh, interacts in many different ways with the Wikimedia universe. And uh, 
It's also important that they all provide a whole ecosystem of different ways to contribute. So you can review existing materials, you can improve existing materials, you can improve the way it is presented, you can improve the infrastructure, you can help improve kind of the community, move the community forward by uh, organizing events or newsletter, things like that, uh, providing um, contact points for newcomers, things like that. Um, it's also important to uh, note that experts are welcome and lay people are welcome and they collaborate on essentially all aspects of the projects. In citizen science projects, this uh, aspect is often called a co-design. This is the default for Wikimedia projects. And it is uh, kind of expected. And uh, if a project is not co-designed, then this will raise questions. Apart from that, uh, the Wikimedia ecosystem nurtures a global network of volunteer-driven sub-communities which may be organized again by wiki, or, um, by subject matter, by locality, or by other common interests. Okay, now interactions between the citizen science and Wikimedia projects. Um, and so here I, I've taken a slightly formal approach. Um, so there was a, an earlier talk that I gave some years ago, um, which was about um, Wikimedia and citizen science. So um, in that I looked at how Wikimedia projects are providing information about citizen science and uh, that included some specific project directors. Um, from that perspective you can also talk about collect information about topics that are or could be the subject of citizen science. You can think about how to integrate citizen science information across languages, across domains of knowledge, across geographic location and across timescales. You can think about exposing the information um, from Wikimedia projects in a variety of open ways to both humans and machines, um, which facilitates the use and reuse elsewhere, including in citizen science projects. You can think about developing and maintaining software for Wikimedia projects that can be used in citizen science projects. And you can think about reusing materials from citizen science projects in Wikimedia projects. Um, so, um, and now we can actually think about, okay, uh, swapping this. Um, so uh, what if we change the X and Y here? Uh, so what if citizen science projects would provide information about Wikimedia projects uh, or collect information about topics that are or could be the subject of Wikimedia projects, or if they would, uh, for instance, um, provide materials that can be reused by Wikimedia projects, and so on. And with that, uh, I would also like to stimulate some discussion, okay, uh, to what extent are Wikimedia projects citizen science projects? There are various definitions of citizen science and citizen science projects floating around, and many of them have to do with the, um, let's say, properties or characteristics I've sketched out so far. Um, and I think Wikimedia projects meet many of them. Okay, so brief reminder, we have these different information channels uh, that we can go along the clock here, and they all provide citizen science related information in their own specific way. So Wikivoyage, for instance, provides travel information um, about, that has citizen science components. Okay, now we will look at some examples of these. So Wikipedia um, has information about topic, the topic of, of citizen science itself um, here in Korean. It has information about individual or lists of citizen science projects here in English. It has information about individual citizen science projects here in Ukrainian. And it has information about some of the scientific outcomes of uh, citizen science projects here in Arabic. And for some of these, uh, there are actually multiple languages that have uh, information. For some others, it's uh, just very few or even none. Wikimania, so the community event, uh, has seen a number of proposals related to citizen science. And so uh, since these proposals First sessions at the event are being made public. You can see both rejected and accepted sessions. 
Wikibooks has a number of entries that relate to citizen science. Here we have an uh, en entry in Hindi about uh, basically um, tiger tracking. And here we have an entry in German and one in English. Uh, the meta wiki helps to coordinate. So here you can basically request a, a site notice that uh, plans to make uh, the users of the wikis aware of citizen science related activities. Um, there are a number of research proposals that are being uh, done in public on uh, the meta wiki. And there is uh, a community called Wikisite that essentially curates the uh, literature and metadata about the literature using Wikimedia projects. Wikiquote um, has citizen science related quotes. So here during the um, pandemic, there was a uh, blog post uh, or no, actually a Wiki new, Wik <laughs> well, I think it was a blog post um, where someone um, invited people to become creator hunters. And uh, so that was um, indexed in Wikiquote under quotes related to astronomy. Um, another link here is that this image, which originally came from iNaturalist, is now used on uh, the Russian wiki quote um, related to the plant. Um, similar reuse of a, an iNaturalist uh, photograph is here taking place on Wikispecies. Um, we also have Wikispecies also has entries about uh, researchers that are engaged in um, let's say biodiversity related research, including citizen science programs. And it also occasionally has information about citizen science platforms related to species. Um, MediaWiki is the software that all of these run on. And uh, so here we have um, FactGrid, which is basically a uh, wiki that invites collaboration on historic research. The Open Encyclopedia of Parallel Algorithmic Features is a mathematical wiki. And here Lingua Libre is an attempt to collect recordings of essentially every word in every language. And it uses a wiki that is tightly integrated with the Wikimedia ecosystem. The Wikimedia incubator is for things uh, that are not uh, really uh, established as a separate wiki here, but that could be in principle. So for instance, there is a Wiktionary uh, to be, that has been proposed for the language Kabardian. And um, in that, they are, for instance, also reusing images from iNaturalist or their, um, and the entire project, like if someone wants to, uh, or proposes that there should be a Wiktionary in a new language, then the entire process um, meets the criteria of co-design, co-creation, and it's all collaborative, it's all public from the start. Then Wikidata, um, which is for general reference information, and that includes citizen science related topics. Uh, important here, uh, it has um, several different types of entries. The most common ones are uh, entries about concepts. And those concepts, they might have descriptions in multiple languages, but the key thing is they have structured annotations. So a citizen science project is a subclass of a research project and somehow a subclass of citizen science. Um, the other, and these, these things, the concepts have uh, identifiers starting with Q. Uh, other kinds of entries that you find in Wikidata are actually lexemes, so words and phrases, and they start with L. And so here for the English term citizen science, you have an entry and you see it's an English compound noun that combines the lexeme citizen and science in that order. Um, you also have a number of citizen science projects actually. Uh, so here is one for uh, author disambiguation for lots of the literature. You have the authors given as strings. So here in blue and um, in Wikidata, you can express whether the author is actually known by their identity, which would make them green here. And so this tool helps converting the blue ones, the strings into things. So um, concepts that are known uh, and so uh, authors that are known and identified. 
And there are various such tools that essentially are citizen science projects. And on that basis, uh, you can then use these data to construct, for instance, profiles of the topic of citizen science um, based on literature about the topic. And that gives you information about the people publishing about the topic, topics that are associated with citizen science, institutions and journals, uh, and uh, others uh, that are engaged with this topic. Wikivoyage uh, has travel information related to citizen science. So for instance, if you're interested in bird watching, you find a page here. Or if you're diving in South Africa, you uh, have a note here as to whether certain regulations apply to citizen science projects or not. Wikiversity um, is for like coursework to study yourself or in groups. Um, here we have a project that annotates a, a kind of a magazine, a historic magazine. And here's an entry about a citizen science platform. Victionary has a number of entries uh, related to citizen science. So for instance here in Turkish about citizen scientists or in uh, Dutch, the, like the, the word for crowdsource or in German, um, one of the terms are, that are used for citizen science. In Wikinews, you sometimes have news that are related to citizen science. Um, or uh, so here, some some star galaxy related research. Uh, if um, a telescope has made some new good recordings. Or here, uh, there is a slave registry in Suriname that was started. And uh, that also has a crowdsourcing um, component. Wikisource is an archive for citizen science, or it's an archive for any kind of text, and that has citizen science components in terms of the transcription. So here uh, are palm leaves from Indonesia that have been photographed by uh, Wikimedia uh, contributors and then transcribed, and you can access the, both the photographs and the transcriptions via Wikimedia Commons, and uh, the text then is also on the Indonesian Wikisource. And uh, similar things happen on the English wiki source, for instance, where you have um, naturalistic field notes that have been basically transcribed and annotated. Wikimedia Commons is the media repository for all of these. So, um, and there are a number of uh, citizen science related things. For instance, there are citizen science projects t uh, taking place there. Um, here is an in initiative that um, was essentially filtering 50,000 maps out of a um, data set of a million images and was, um, well, first identifying those 50,000 that were maps and then second, trying to geolocate the, those maps. And you see here the progress 72%. Um, then and there's a whole category about citizen science, all, all sorts of aspects of citizen science. There are individual citizen science projects uh, there are also, um, let's say, collaborative projects. So, for instance, the herbarium in Neuchâtel in Switzerland was uh, digitizing its collection that was done in collaboration with the Wikimedia uh, community in Switzerland. And uh, that resulted in uh, the collection essentially not just being digitized in the herbarium, but also avail uh, being available through Wikimedia Commons. And <coughs> At the EXA conference, there was a request uh, by one of the presenters to also think about how a citizen science uh, can help with um, problems around sand mining, sand theft, beach theft. And so also for all, all of these topics that a citizen science project might be about, Wikimedia Commons or the other projects, they often have materials already. Um, so, yeah, because Wikimedia Commons is so central to all of this, I have an additional slide on this. Here are a few, um, let's say, other resources that relate to citizen science. So, for instance, a presentation given almost a decade ago at uh, SciDataCon uh, about data sharing arrangements. Uh, here's another da uh, SciDataCon presentation about citizen science, um, highlighting uh, the interactions with Wikimedia projects. And here is uh, basically a, a white paper by Lieber, a library association, outlining how libraries uh, can and do interact with citizen science. Yeah, and then uh, 
there are, um, of course, the various Wikimedia communities that organize or engage in citizen science activities. So, for instance, here there is uh, an event where Wikimedians engage with iNaturalist. Here is a citizen science project invo uh, involving the Textile Museum in the Netherlands. Um, there are various blog posts about uh, citizen science related projects like a bar camp, for instance. And uh, then there are all sorts of mechanisms by which the Wikimedia community organizes. For instance, there are wiki projects which facilitate the collaboration on wiki. Finally, I would like to highlight some perspectives on citizen science that may be useful for citizen science practitioners or contributors. Um, and they are informed by things that happen in the Wikimedia ecosystem. So first, um, we can go back to Wikisource, which has materials that go back um, potentially uh, hundreds of years. And uh, some of those materials actually include uh, things that are relevant to the participation of non-specialists in research questions. So here, this one is about how lay people can contribute to research about essentially thunderstorms. Yeah, then um, one key aspect of uh, Wikimedia projects is, is their openness. And um, so the open, uh, open way of working is basically the default, uh, which is not the case for citizen science. Um, and the interactions between the Wikimedia ecosystem and the open science ecosystem um, and also the open culture ecosystem via the GLAM galleries, libraries, archives and museums. Um, they have been the subject of separate uh, presentations that I'm just pointing to here. Um, then it is quite common for Wikimedia materials like uh, images from Wikimedia Commons or text from Wikipedia or data from Wikidata to be reused in citizen science projects. Here is an example of Wikipedia text being reused on iNaturalist. Um, it is, there is a desire uh, on the part of the Wikimedia projects to reuse a lot of citizen science projects um, and uh, this also takes place. So for instance here is a, a category of media files on Wikimedia Commons that are originated from iNaturalist, but uh, there are often problems with the licensing. Many citizen science projects do not provide their materials in licensing uh, under licensing conditions that are, um, let's say, compatible with the reuse on Wikimedia projects. Or uh, if they allow for multiple licenses, then the default might not be open enough for reuse on Wikimedia projects. Yeah, here are some further references. Um, that um, basically give uh, a rough overview of some previous presentations on the interaction between citizen science and the Wikimedia ecosystem. And uh, then I would like to acknowledge that uh, this presentation basically builds on the contributions that many people have made to the Wikimedia projects. It also uh, was supported by Wikimedia Germany um, for me to actually attend the EXA um, conference and uh, specifically I was engaged in, in two projects one of them supported by the Alfred Sloan Foundation which helped uh, develop the scholarly profiling engine uh, Scholia that, that I was briefly outlining on the Wikidata page and the Volkswagen Stiftung currently supports a project uh, to cover invasion biology in uh, Wikidata and yeah, if you want to contact me, here are my contact details. Thanks for your attention.